Broadband internet for students and teachers requires more infrastructure to support it, especially outside of larger cities. The telecoms have got to play in the last mile. That's where the problem comes. You know, we don't get that connectivity to the really rural areas. But in order to do that, former North Carolina Governor Bev Perdue says school districts need financial help from the federal level. We've got to also manipulate the E-rate and work with the FCC because they are major players in how much reimbursement a county system, city system, or the state gets from the federal government. North Carolina Senator Deanna Ballard agrees that state and federal leaders need to work together to provide this funding, especially with COVID-19 affecting the state education budget. She says the General Assembly has already committed $60 million to the K-12 through school systems. To use in connectivity-related needs, and that's anything from devices to Wi-Fi and buses. Dr. Sharon Contreras says that money has helped with some of Guilford County's needs. We've made um, significant improvements since the spring. But there's still a long way to go to make sure all students have an equal playing field this fall when it comes to their education. We continue to struggle with internet connectivity. We continue to struggle with enough devices. And we even uh, struggle in school with how we project the lessons so that all students can have synchronous instruction.